Apache Knife Fi comes with more than 50 processors out of the box that will allow us to connect to Amazon, Google Cloud, and Azure. These processors are easy to set up and very powerful. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can connect Knife Fi to Amazon Web Services. So if you see here on the canvas, I already prepped some processors and I want to demonstrate that with, for example, get SQS, this is an Amazon processor. All of the Amazon processor will come with some options. We have the Amazon credential service provider, which is a controller. And we have the credentials files. Basically the credential file has to carry the access key and the secret key to access your cloud resources and you can place your access key and secret key in plain text here which is not advised but let's go ahead and see how we can run some services against the cloud provider so the first thing you want to do you want to make sure that you have an access key and a secret key in your amazon cloud i'm not going to go over that i'm going to go and uh, demonstrate how the processor called list uh, s3 files operates and how we can use it to connect to our cloud provider so in this example we're going to use the processor settings credentials file what i'll try to do is i'll try to list everything that it's in this bucket in this particular region so to be able to connect to amazon we have three major ways that we're going to demonstrate actually we have four but since i'm not running this instance on cloud i cannot demonstrate that and that it's uh, running through the instance role using a credential file so if you open the list credential the list s3 file we can see in the property credential file we have a location with the value of it it's a location to a file if we copy this file and i'll open my terminal and we do a cat this is the definition that you have to provide to that file the processor will use these two values to run the rest if you see here we set up the region we set up the bucket and our listing strategy which is tracking timestamps so let's go ahead and test it let's run it once and see what happens you can see that he listed that in that bucket i have 75 objects this is great next option use the processor setting keys so in this example if you see here we haven't set any value but i will paste them in i will paste this value in i do not recommend going with this option but you know if you're lazy the credential files and amazon credential provider services they will be blank let's save and run again you can see we had a success again 70 file listed our final option when running nipi on your local host using an amazon credential controller so if you go here you see i already have two credential two controllers set uh so let's navigate to it and let's see what are the options so we have a credential provider controller service that uses keys so if we look inside we have these two values set uh, which we previously did in the other processor uh, on its interface we have the key and the access key and the rest stay as you see and then the other option it's with a file so we can see we have the credential files pointing we have the credentials file parameter set so basically enables us to do the same actions as we did previously the good thing about it uh, it's easier to use controller services because these ones are paired across processors so let's go ahead and run this again we can see that we had a good result this using the with keys credentials if i were to switch here and run with files apply and run again we see we don't get nothing the reason is we have to re-raise the state of this processor. This processor keeps state of the last max timestamp of its last execution if we were to run again. So this wraps up our Amazon connectivity option from NiFi locally onto the cloud. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I see you in the next tutorial.